OK YouTubers. Something new and exciting, something different to my channel. Uh, what we're going to be doing here today is a company called Greener Power. It was nice enough to send us this 12 volt lithium ion battery. Um, this battery is good for recreational use, whether it's like an RV, a camper. Um, you can use it for trolling motors and boats. Um, what I want to do with this battery is I want to make a like a battery backup for home use because my home has a basement with a sump pump and whenever there's a major storm I'm always afraid of the power going out and not having my sump pumps working and then obviously not working would back up the basement and obviously have the basement flood. So I'm going to try and make a very simple setup. Another company called Cantoonage, I believe it's Con Cantoonage is going to be sending us a, um, a power inverter and it's going to be 1200 watts because a single lithium ion battery can produce up to 1280 watts of power. So the power inverter is going to allow uh, for my two sump pumps to be able to plug into it. Also, you can plug in um, like your cell phone, allow that to charge if power goes out. But uh, so today, this company here, we're going to check out. It's called Greener Power. And let's go ahead and do an unboxing. It showed up here at my house. Um, very quickly, within two days. They do sell these on Amazon. Uh, the regular price on Amazon, I believe, is $1.99. Uh, there's, right now, there's currently a $25 off coupon. So, Sorry about that, the camera cut out. Um, but here's all the specs of the battery that you need to know. Hopefully you guys can see this or read this. Normal voltage, capacity, capacity at 20 amps, energy, 1280 watts, that's obviously why I'm getting a 1200 watt power inverter. Um, anyway, so hopefully you guys can take a look at that if you guys have any questions. But it's a nice laminated card in case it was to get wet or in a storm. Um, oh, another thing, let's see here, that I would like to, um, I'm going to probably invest some money in as well, just in case the power goes out. I'm probably going to go ahead and buy a solar panel just probably a single one to help charge this battery. Um, but I'll just, I'll, I'll buy that here in the future. But anyways, like I said, the uh, the power inverter, I think the company is sending us, um, they sell those on Amazon. I believe they're $63, $65, something in that area. Um, like I said, this battery, uh, normal price is $199, buy it on Amazon. Let's go ahead and, oh wow. Another nice thing is that it's not near as heavy as a regular car battery. I mean, a regular car battery would probably weigh 75 pounds. I'm gonna guess this weighing 30-ish. Probably should have brought a knife or whatever to open up this bag. But it's nice and neatly packaged. Oh, here's handles, that's even nicer. Okay, handles are built in. There's the company's website. Um, so what I'll be using is, uh, for now, I would recommend something simple like a little charger like this. This company here is called NoCo Genius 5. I already had this because I use this for my cars, tractors, jet ski, that kind of stuff. But it's very versatile where it'll charge a regular 12 volt battery. Um, it also does AGM batteries and also does lithium. So, and also you can go from 12 volts to six volts if you had something small like a little lawnmower or whatever push mower. But so you're gonna want a basic battery charger. If not, you're gonna have to, gonna have to buy then a solar panel for it. Um, I did see, I think it was on eBay this week. I was starting to look into them. They had nice solar panels on sale right now for like $58 all the way up to like $200. So I'll probably start with a smaller, cheaper solar panel just to give it a try, make sure everything's working great before I invest big money. But like I said, I want something nice that I can have power if my power goes out. All right, guys, um, in the box, when I looked in the very bottom, it actually comes with these little terminals here. We'll just be installing the terminals here into the battery before we're able to charge it. 
and they're just going to screw in like so. All right, then you're going to take your battery charger, clamp them on. You want to plug your battery charger in. So here's the battery charger. You hit this mode button until it lights up lithium. Hopefully you guys can see this or read that. How this battery charger works, for a few seconds it's going to test between 0 to 25%. That's why this first bar is going to be blinking. Once it passes the 25% charge, then it'll go from 25 to 50. It'll pulsate to be blinking as well. There we go. Now it's going into, it's checking between 25 to 50% charge. I really don't know if this battery comes charged at all, but apparently it has some charge in it. Um, so where this came about was I was wanting to maybe do like a home generator or a home power bank, with like a little solar panel, just because my home, I'm not gonna say it's common, but it seems like once a month, maybe every other month, my power goes out. And sometimes it's been out for six to eight hours and you really don't realize how bad you need power whether it's from the internet to your cell phone use to watching a television. Um, or in my case, I have a house with a full basement and I have two sump pumps in the basement. So that's why was, my concern was, is I want a battery backup with a power inverter I can plug my sump pumps into if my power goes out. Because um, obviously you don't want the sump pumps not to be, you know, the power not working, the sump pumps not come on during a storm and the basement floods. Um, like I said, I don't know if I really need like a big generator or one of those really big power banks. Um, but I have a feeling some simple setup is, like I said, right now it's on sale for 175 bucks for the battery. The power inverter the company is sending me, I believe, is a $65-ish power inverter. Makes 1,200 watts of power. The most this battery can produce is 1,280 watts. So I figured the 1,200-watt power inverter is going to work perfect. And then I'll show you my sump pumps working off of it. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll test out my television like a fire stick, make sure you can watch TV, um, see if we can power up the modem, that sort of thing. But guys, I appreciate you watching my channel, subscribing to my channel, liking these videos, because the more that you guys just give it a thumbs up, the more these companies are going to send me products that I can test out for you and give you my honest opinion. So, oh, just to give you another example, I'm sorry, this NOCO Genius 5 charger, I already owned this. Um, I believe these sell for $70 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below to this. But if you don't have a basic home charger, this is great. You know, if you ever need to charge your car, I always make sure before winter time, I let it go through one time because it does have a repair mode as well. So if you have an older battery, this will break down, build up crystal growth in your battery and more or less refresh your battery. Um, so I'll do that in my cars. I use this for, I have a tractor, jet ski, boat, that sort of thing. This thing is so universal. It does regular 12 volt batteries, does AGM batteries, the lithium batteries. It also will do six volt if you have something really small, like let's say like a push mower. But thanks again, Greener Power, for getting me started with the the, uh, the lithium battery. Here in a week or so, when the other company sends the uh, power inverter, we'll get that going. Then we'll get some tests going. Thanks for watching my channel, guys.